Hello, dear Virgos. Um, you guys are probably outside of my own sign, of course. One of my favorite signs only because of the motherly warm that Virgos carry with them. Virgos are born between August 23rd and September 22nd. They are of the earth element. They are mutable, meaning very changeable. And they are ruled by Mercury, the god of communication and technology, technological communication. Um, the reason I started with saying Virgos are one of my favorite of all the zodiac signs is because of the warmth that Virgos carry with them. Virgos, like I said, are a part of the earth element, which means they are the center child of the earth element where Taurus is first, Vir Virgo is second, and Capricorn is third. Um, the middle spot plays no role in the perception of Virgos within themselves. Like Virgos, um, I don't want to sound biased, but they were born to be mothers. They are some of the warmest, loving, hardworking, kind people. And it's biased to say they were born to be mothers. I'm going to say they were born to be parents. Because if I say mothers, that negates the male Virgos. You can tell how much I love Virgos. Yeah, like they are... They're that shoulder that you need to lean on. And the shoulder's always there. Now, Virgos... Um, are not so easy to get to know because of their shyness. Like they're high introverts. Um, if you get to know a Virgo, and I mean in depth, get to know them, how they think, their emotions, their day to day, um, you're lucky because they are very shy individuals. Um, my mother's a Virgo and she opens up to those who she finds comfort in and every time I see her being shy I get caught off guard because I'm so used to that strong powerful woman Virgos are they are um to be called the virgin or the maiden of the zodiac they're some powerful people um their aura is felt you feel the Virgo throughout the zodiac um now being mutable, they do um, stand as mediators within the zodiac. Like um, <laughs> I always believe, if a fight broke out, it would take a Virgo to stop it within the Earth signs. Like if Taurus and Capricorn were fighting, the Virgo would be the one to stop the fight. Like she can mediate the fight and have each character see where each one was wrong, and then go on to laugh and carry on. Um, Virgos do carry the um, weakness of being workaholics. They work hard. Like they are all about the business. Um, outside of the shyness, they're great communicators. Um, Virgos are um, great cooks. I've never met a Virgo who couldn't cook. They're great cooks. Um, what else? Um, being um, ruled by Mercury, Virgos are um, would make great writers, journalists, um, anything that revol revolves around communication, be it verbal or nonverbal. Their compassion allows them to be great caregivers. Um, The one thing about Virgo um, that unless you have one close to you that you don't know is their outlook on reality and life and I won't tell your secret but they really do have a strong um, understanding of life, humanity, society, this reality as a whole and it takes to 
getting to know a Virgo to understand um, how in depth they truly are. Virgos are truly intuitively connected to the um, stars, like the um, cosmos. Like they don't try, it just is. They're truly connected to the bigger picture around us. Um, outside of that, um, Regarding their day-to-day, -day, Virgos make great friends because they give such wonderful advice and they do take that time out to listen and understand that which you are speaking of. And the one thing I can honestly say I appreciate about a Virgo is they will not give you advice that they would not take themselves. But, but, do not ask for advice from a Virgo and not expect to hear the truth. Like their taurine sisters and brothers, they are blunt. A Virgo will tell you exactly how it is. And woe to you if a Virgo warned you about something and you did it anyway and the outcome was hurtful or harmful to you. Oh, that I told you so is coming. It's coming faster than you can expect. Oh, that I told you so is going to be a smack in the face I told you. I told you I warned you and that's that's what makes them such um, good caregivers because they do take time out to listen they take time out to process to rationalize but they do not coddle a Virgo does not coddle you a Virgo does not give you unearned self-importance and I respect that about the Virgo um, they're strong enough to stand on their own two feet they're strong enough to stand up for themselves. I believe a Virgo would be um, a wonderful doctor. Anything in the medical industry, they would be um, amazing at. They would be great in the arts because that would give them the opportunity to communicate and touch more lives than um, than they normally would in an everyday mundane um, environment. I'll, um, for example, Michael Jackson, he's a Virgo. Well, he was a Virgo. And you saw, if you're a fan or not, it really, I don't think it matters. <laughs> Everyone knows who Michael is. You saw um, the impact he had on the world. Like if you ever wanted to understand a Virgo, Michael Jackson, he was super shy, but yet when it came to um, his art, he was so self-expressive. That's a Virgo, ruled by Mercury. They communicate in ways that makes them the most comfortable, and that's all they can do. Um, otherwise, like they're quiet to themselves, minding their own business, and that's what makes the Virgo so amazing. Um, that is pretty much it about our beautiful Virgos of the world um, and handsome Virgos. I don't want to be um, biased. We're going to be leaving the house of Virgo and heading into the world of the Libra scales. 